In the last video, we were talking about counterexamples and how to prove something is not a field. So we talked about some boring examples such as the reals and we talked about uh, the, the rationals very briefly. And I showed you how the integers are not, are not a field. In this video, I will be talking about a very fun uh, the, the, the concept, which with, with tropical numbers, which are almost, which which are almost a field. And before I do that, I think it's worthwhile mentioning that the complex numbers, the complex numbers, are a field, are a field. And if you don't know what they are, then well, the the, the, the complex have have the square root of negative one inside of it, which would not be possible in the in the reals so anytime you go into a different set of number systems it's because you are failing some sort of some sort of operation in the, in the field that you are currently working in and you can do square root of negatives in the reals and you probably know that from your high school classes so in this video i i want to make it clear how how interesting some fields are however not all of them uh you know, sorry, not all fields, all sets are, but not all of them can be fields. So in this video, I will be talking about tropical. So let me actually use a very colorful and positive, positive color. Tropical numbers. Tropical numbers. So what are these? So these were created uh, by by some Brazilian uh, mathematician, and these are a fun example of something which is almost a field. So here, the field, or well, the the, the set uh, f is defined in the following way. So f is defined as uh, the, the integers, which are being unionized with infinity. And here, infinity is larger than any integer. So if I, so for example, if I were to take some some sort of value, with, with, so if 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 x is an element of f, then then uh, x plus infinity would be infinity. That's how we are defining it uh, in here. And th the best part about tropical numbers is that th their addition and multiplication is really interesting. So uh, if you were to take, and it's not this, it's it does not follow the societal norms that we have been um, obliged to follow since grade one. So if normally if we take x plus y, it just means well it's x plus y. So if I had three plus two, that means three plus two, which we know it's five. However, in the tropical numbers, addition is defined in the following way. So addition is defined in the following way when i use three lines or when i use a semicolon uh with with with, with, with an equal sign this means definition that's what this means so addition is defined as the in the following way if you have an x and you have a y and you want to add them since it's not normal addition i'm going to make it a special a special addition with the with the plus sign and a circle around it so if you want to add two elements in the tropical number system then what you do is you actually take the minimum of the two elements and i'll show you an example so before i do that if you want to multiply two elements the, the multiplication is defined as so, so you you have your two elements, and if you want to multiply them, and and again, I'm this is not the, the multiplication that you are used to, so that's why I have circles around it to denote that it's not normal um, the multiplication. So, if you want to multiply two uh, the two elements, that's the same as adding as adding them. So, when you work in this number system, if I were to give you if I were to give you 5 plus 3, then the answer would be the minimum of 5 and 3, which we clearly know, well, it has to be 3. 
So, so in, in this, I, what I just did is 5 plus 3 is 3. And if I were to give you another example where I was saying, well, what's 10 times, uh, the, 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 I don't know, like a, like 100, then I would be doing 10 plus 100, and it would be 110. So what I just did is 10 times, 10 times 100, will be 110. So why is it that the tropical numbers are not a field? So as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, the, the tropical numbers basically don't have to, you know, not follow numerous axioms. All you need is just one axiom that, you know, this this tropical number system fails, and that's all you need in order to prove or show that this number system is not a field. So to show that tropical numbers are not a field, all we need is just one counterexample. So I am telling you that uh, the tropical numbers are not a field. So let, let's make that the problem example show show that the tropical numbers tropical numbers are not a field so in order to do this, all we need is just one counterexample. Just like we did for integers, we just need one counterexample. And my counterexample, so my answer, my answer to this is going to be this. So a counterexample to this is, you know, using AI. And what's AI? Additive inverse. So let's take, so let's recall what additive inverse was. Additive, so additive inverse was defined in the following way. We talked about this. That, well, for all x's in a field, there exists um, a minus x, which is also part of the field, such that if you were to add, if you were to add them, sorry, that's too high. If you were to add them, you would get your additive identity, which is zero. So uh, in in this, a counter example would be this. So let's take so my counter my counter example example is let x be zero. Let x be zero. Then any time we do x and our special addition with another number, it will always be what? Remember how I defined addition? Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, addition in tropical numbers. It's the minimum. It's the minimum uh, of, the, of the two values of x and y. If x is 0, then, then for any value given, for any value given, it will always be what? 0. So what does this mean? Example, uh, if I were to give you 5 plus 0, then that would be the minimum of 5 and 5 and 0, and it will be 0. You give me any value, it will be what? 0, unless you give me a negative value. So the only, so, so the only response, so the, the, the only answer to this will be what? Either 0 or less than, less than 0, or a more uh, the mathematically appropriate uh, the method of writing this would be less than or equal to zero. Remember how in the starting of the video I talked about infinity. I said that if you were to take any element and you were to add infinity to it, you would get infinity. The problem is that if you... So this is wonderful, right? It works. However, if I was to give you a y which would be equal to infinity, then we know we know by definition that we would have x plus y and we know that x is 0 and y is infinity then we would have to say that well th this would be the same as 0 the special add uh, the special addition sign and then in with infinity 
So this is the same thing as me saying taking the minimum of 0 and infinity, and our answer will be 0. However, we defined that if you take some sort of number and you add infinity to it, you should get infinity. Clearly, we added 0 to infinity and it gave us 0. This clearly breaks of our definition. This is proof that it fails. It fails what the additive identity stands for. And the one counterexample is more than enough to show you hopefully that that this is not a field and I have repeated this over and over that all you need uh, is is just one counter example and and the infinity example is perfect because we defined it at the start if you remember if let me go back we said that if if you take an element and it and add infinity to it you will get infinity clearly we added we added um, zero to infinity we got zero and it's this axiom that the tropical number system fails Every, all the other eight it does successfully follow so uh, this is how you prove that the tropical numbers are not a field and of course at the end of every proof you want to put q e d i hope this video was helpful.